Sit back. Fuck, I think we're stuck. How you doing? Hey, you mind just putting that down? Sorry. Thank you. Where's the bus? After that buck for 18 hours. I don't fucking care. Kim, Kim, we just Kim, had an accident. Kim. You don't fire your gun 15 feet in front of my Kim, fucking cool car. out. Cool out. Yeah, Kim, cool out. Hey, listen, look. We're a little shook up. Just, Kim, just cool out for a minute. Can you tell me? 
God damn it! Kim, cool out. Sit in the car. Check on Miles. Can you tell me? Can you tell me who I can call in town to get a tow? Nobody open this time of night. <laughs> That's just not true. Can you tell? Can you tell me the next big town? Is there anywhere closer than Danbury? Hey, one of these can... ambulances is cracked, Otis. Did, did, did they tell you who to call? No, I wish you the This is a bummer, right? Yeah. Were you scared when we hit that deer? Yeah. You okay, though? Yeah. You know, some, some people out here uh, hunt the deer and, and they catch the, the weaker ones who wouldn't su survive the winter. That's the idea. But it's sad. Right? Oh, dear. Okay, I'm about uh, 20 miles south of Danbury. Um, I just passed a bridge, Shadow Ridge, Shadow Creek, something. So Shadow Creek. But Daddy's gonna. Daddy's gonna get us a tow out of here. Right, Dad? Well, I said it was a mile after that bridge on Shadow Ridge, right? Yeah, that sounds right. It said half an hour. Okay. Then I'm gonna make us all dinner. Right? Whew! The antler on that deer is busted because of you. Uh, well, uh, well, I'm sorry for that. You know, I wish it hadn't happened that way. That all you got to say? Yeah, yeah. I think we should just leave it at that. Is that right? Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Can you step away from the car, please? Can I, uh, can I ask you your name? Otis. Otis, my name is George. I'd like you to please stay away from the car if you don't mind. Uh, my family's very upset. We just we want to wait here for our ride. Now, uh, I'm sorry about the deer, but you know that uh, it was an accident. There's nothing we can do about it. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how I can be any clearer. A rack of antlers like that worth a lot of money. Hey, hey, Otis. Come on, I'm gonna get the truck. Otis, I'm gonna get the truck. Otis. What do you say? I say it's my deer and this guy busted an antler. Hey, Otis, that ain't right, man. We gotta talk about this. That's right. Billy made the first hit, so I don't know if it's yours. The fuck with that? I had the fatal shot. Well, Billy wounded him. This guy took him out. And you did the mercy killing. <laughs> <laughs> mercy killing? <laughs> Excuse me. Good shot, man. <laughs> man, that guy's got a problem. God Dead or alive? Alive. Are you famous? Yes. Are you in showbiz? Yes. Well, it's like a farewell butt, right? Yeah. Madonna? No. Corny Love? No, oh, come on, you have to keep asking me questions. Spice Girls? Don't just assume I'm a woman. <laughs> I think this is all right. What's he up to now? Yeah, 
save you some trouble. We got this. Are you the one to call? What are you doing? I'm getting you out of that ditch. You could have asked. No, yeah? no, 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 no. Looks like you got yourself a friend for life there, mister. What, are you, uh, are you going up to the Stookie place? I guess you were right, Otis. Hey, you all from the city, huh? Yeah, it's okay. You I give it a go, Billy? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Just wait a yeah. minute. Wait a minute. Wait. Yeah. Stay back. Relax. There we go. Thank you. There it is. <laughs> Woo! It's uh, $40 just for coming up here. I'll charge you for the tow. Oh, thank you. I'll only charge you $20. I'm not paying you anything. Wow. Well, he's got a bug up his ass. Listen, I didn't, ask, I didn't ask for your help. I'd already called for the tow. You knew that. I knew what? Listen, I'm not doing this. I'm not. I'm not. This is ridiculous. No, I don't think I understand what your problem is, George. What are you... I really don't. Here. Just, well, Thanks. Oh, that's great. Somebody's George, got some let's go. Here. Thank you, Kim. Let's go. Can I make a point of pissing in your drinking water once a week? New York City Reservoir, just a mile from here. Nice. Don't say anything. Just drive. Oh, I drink bottled water. Once a week. <laughs> Woo! should be to the left if there's a bridge. A bridge? Only wish you would have a bridge. There we go, Miles. Over the moat. The moat to the castle. <laughs> Richard Manny's mansion. Yeah, it's a tan house, isn't it? Laugh a luxury, George. Hey, Mars, look at that. Huh? Pretty old, Dad. Come on. Okay. I, yeah, I just found it. What? Um, the window was broken. Go find some um, cardboard and some tape. Ask your mother. Yeah. Are you scared? 
scared before. Maybe I was more shook up than I thought by that thing on the road, you know? That's better, right? Hey, Moss, why don't you go get cards? Not much. Come on, go get them. We'll have a quick round. Card, any card. All right, together. T O G E T H. Yeah. I don't know. Come on, come on, try. E R. Good. Yeah. Good. Exactly. Good. Remember, it's basically to get her. See what I mean? All right, okay, so let's see what's next. <clears throat> separate. This is a tough one. I can't even spell this one every time. In fact, if you get this, you'll be top of your class. You will rule. You will rule. Hmm. Come on, try it. S E P. Uh huh. Hmm. Where are you going, buddy? A R? Yeah. A T. Good for you. Nice one. Well done. All right. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. toughy, toughy. Onomatopoeia. I don't think so. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. L'chaim. <laughs> all right, all right, right, right. Appetite, appetite, appetite. Come on, appetite. Dad, we did two. Come on, try appetite. Appetite, what's wrong with that? You can do that. Dad. All right, all right, go on. No fun. Nice going, kiddo. What if you're sitting in your living room and a, and a bullet flies through the window? I mean, you know, who do you call? I'm just so glad we don't have Star anymore. She looked just like a deer. <laughs> she wouldn't have lasted 10 seconds out here. I miss Star. There's no TV. We got those cool books there, Miles. There are videos, aren't there? Nothing good. Well, nothing you've heard of, sweetie. Let's build a fire. Cool. Uh, Richard said there'd be some wood in the shed out back. Miles, let's go get us some wood. Oh, yeah. Come on, bud. Okay. Look, we can make some kindling. You know how to use an axe? Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just so gotta get it balanced. Get it right there in the hole. Holy moly! Careful, Miles! Ay, ay, ay. Hey, let me use this road to pass through. so generous with their keys. Mm. It was Annie's thing anyway. I knew Richard's interest would pay. He needs to be in the center of it all. Yeah, well, who wants to retire the country when you're young? It's called an inner life, George. Just because you don't approve of my inner life doesn't mean I don't have one. Oh, 
Besides, didn't he have some weird instant up here and just stopped coming up for a while? I don't remember that. Hmm. Maybe he just told me about it. What was it? Yeah, some incident. I guess I don't remember. Well, it probably had to do with that guy driving across the property. Annie would have told me about something like that. How you doing, Miles? You liking the pasta? Hmm. It's, it's okay. What's the matter? Hmm. Nothing. Mom, what is it? That man knows where we live. Outside the car, but he was very excited because he was chasing that deer. And it's really okay to hunt if you're getting in tune with nature. Oh, feeding that sack of shit, Kim. That guy was demented. George, your father exaggerates. You know that. It's nothing to worry about, Miles. You know, your mom can be very fair and even-headed, which is cool, right? <laughs> Except you don't want to be a softy either. You gotta be wary of people like that guy. That can be bad news. Deer had a whole family. Oh, Miles. Don't think about that, sweetie. It's just really sad stuff that happens sometimes. But you know, in nature, things like that happen, and then all the animals, they just adjust. There's a balance. Think about that, okay? Okay. <laughs>
can you tell me a little more about sack of shit? What? Talking to Miles like that at dinner? Uh, it was a bit harsh, I guess. What's around you? Uh, I don't know. I can't put my finger on I mean, is it the reshoot or you just pissed off your heat? No, 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 mm -hmm. baby. That's not good at all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is nice. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm? Those fucking guys. Out on the road? Yeah. What about them? I just felt the abyss between us, me and that guy. With a shotgun. That wasn't a shotgun, but anyway. And he had a pistol. <laughs> did that threaten your manhood? Mm, yeah, I hmm. guess it did, Dr. McLaren. Well, it's, it's very archetypical for the civilized man to feel threatened by the man of the country. <laughs> that one guy was just, he just seemed like, I mean, how do you get through to someone like that? Jordan. Ah. Jordan. What? We have ways of restoring confidence in men with... With emasculation problems. Uh -huh, really? Perhaps you should show me. <laughs> Anyway, Stefan's gonna stick to the prenup and he's not gonna budge. Well, he's got a right to be pissed. She slept with his best friend who happens to be his accountant, too. I mean, come on. She's not gonna ask for money. She just wants it out. No, she's gonna take him for all he's worth. Are you sweet to be naive on this one, but no. Well, all right, maybe you're right. He's pretty tacky. If there's any justice, she'll be hit by a bus. It doesn't work that way, George. Mm. Here we go. Outstanding. Hey, what's going to town with me after breakfast? I do. Me too. I need curry if I'm going to make that casserole. We must have curry. Very, very important. Must have the curry. Dad. I like the curry. I cook the meanest curry this okay. side of Delhi.
guy really pees in the reservoir? Shush, George. He's gonna get Miles all excited talking about pee pee. <laughs> Okay, cool it, baby. Hey, fruit juice or something. All right. I'll pull a car on. I'll meet you right here. Okay, you can talk to me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what it is? Mm -hmm. Windigo. Windigo? Windigo. It's a Windigo. A Windigo is a mighty, powerful spirit. What's it look like? It can take on many forms. Part winds, part tree, part man. Shape shifting between. Shape shifting? Shape shifting. It can fly. It can fly at you like a sudden storm without warning from nowhere. And devour you. Consume you with its ferocious appetite. Appetite? The Wendigo is hungry, always hungry. And its hunger is never satisfied. The more it eats, the bigger it gets. And the bigger it gets, the hungrier it gets. And we are hopeless in the face of it. We are devoured. Is the Wendigo bad? Nothing between the earth and sky is bad. But there are spirits that should be feared. Because there are spirits that are angry. Angry? Do you believe me? I guess. Go ahead and take it. Nobody believes in spirits anymore. 
doesn't mean they're not there. He who hears the cry of the Wendigo is never the same again. Miles. Miles. Let's go. Come on. Whoa, whoa. You've got to be careful in here. What have you got? The man gave it to me. What man? Behind the counter back there. Excuse me. Uh, my son said the man up there gave him this little figure. Is that okay? What's he got? That's five dollars. Five dollars? Oh, come on, Miles. Who said you could have that? The Indian guy behind the counter back there. Is that possible someone gave it to him? Nobody works here but me. Nobody been in here but me. Oh. Okay, come on, come on, Miles. Let's give it back. It's kind of cool. Will you take three dollars? Four. Okay. You just blow our budget, Mom. There was a guy, Mom. He gave it to me. What kind of a guy? Hey, Dad. What? Later. Come on. See him. He doesn't mean he wasn't there, but we shouldn't make stuff up that isn't true. He was there. I believe you, sweetie. If it's true. Mom. Seriously, it's like Boo Radley the way he's always around. George, Boo Radley was a good guy. Right, Miles? <laughs> Did you realize how close we were to those guys? Those are some nice neighbors to have. George, shush. Show that guy to your transformers. They're not transformers. What? What? You, you gotta show more interest. Last week it was transformers. What can I say? No, I'm serious. You don't see it, George, but he lies and makes stuff up to get attention. It's because, you know, 
you gotta be there for him. If we're gonna do these weekends, you gotta be engaged. Yeah, you put these ideas in his head that I'm not oh, interested in. It's not on, fair. Come on, I don't discuss this with Miles. You've got all this anger that you carry around from work or I don't know where, and he feels it. He thinks it's directed at him. Oh. Uh, he doesn't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Everyone's got anger. Oh, George. Well, I don't want to be analyzed right now. Miles sees this stuff. He sees. Look, I gotta make this phone call to Charles in the city. I told him my call. Uh, I'll take Miles out afterwards. We'll go sledding. Okay. I'll cook. I got the cutting. Thank you, dear. Come on, baby. Hey, hey. You know, we never even looked around the whole house together. Oh, no, go ahead. Go, go on. Make no, your call. No, 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 no. Come on, let's look upstairs. Come on. Fixing it up. I'd love to have the time to acquire all this stuff. Yeah. And he has a good eye. Mm. Ah! She really has this whole stag thing going here. And look at this. Oh, poor dear. I took this uh, funny picture of the sheriff in town today. Yeah. Shot me this look. They must must piss the locals off. All these outsiders coming up here. It's really great. You brought your camera, George. Get some pictures for yourself. Huh? Yeah. Hey, look at this. What? You know that reservoir? Yeah. This whole town's buried under there. Hmm. It's ten thousand acres. They uh, flooded the valley in 1970. Drinking water for New York City. There's a lot of displaced people. They'd already displaced the Indians. Now Annie and Richard live here. Displacing everybody. <laughs> uh, Annie is up in the area. Yeah, it's, it's a cat's house, George. Mm -hmm. It's a cat's house. It's a cat's house. you sad. Mm -hmm. well, what do you think it is? You can tell mommy. Well, he's just moody like his dad, right, Tiger? Sometimes it helps to talk about things when you're sad, sweetie. You gotta watch mm -hmm. out for those moods, Miles. They'll get the best of you. You'll end up taking soulful pictures of corporate logos. Oh, you sure don't listen to him, Miles. Your father complains about his work, but a lot of people would kill for his job. Don't listen to him, Miles. Feeling sorry for yourself is very unattractive. And Miles, remember, boys against girls. Mm -hmm. Hey. Hey, Tiger. I think your dad wants to take you sledding, right, Dad? Yeah, <laughs> what do you say? Mm, okay. Okay. All right, I'm gonna make this call to Chaz, then we're gonna go out, okay? So you get ready, I'll be right back. Yeah, Mom? Yeah. Yeah, Mom. You okay, sweetie? Don't worry, Mom. Don't worry, Mom. You're growing up so fast. No, come here. Hey, Chaz. Uh, George. So what's the verdict? Are you serious about this, Richard? Really? Fuck. 
I'm up here, so... It's nice, yeah, it's pretty cold. Well, we had this... this weird thing happen. Yeah, we hit this deer, and it came right at the windshield, so that was bad enough, right? But then... Then there was this one guy, man, I'm telling you, Chaz, this guy's bad news. It scared me, yeah. I was afraid for killing the kid. So, so what, what, what do they say the problem is? It's, it's like it's too dark? Like, in terms of light or in terms of tone? Like, I mean, content, you know what I mean? I mean, do they know what they mean? All right, well, maybe it's just a question of contrast. I mean, no, 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 I mean visual contrast. I, I, I could bring out the highlights. Well, anyway, look, I'm not fighting for anything anymore. Just, just tell them to tell us what they want. I'll deal with it on Tuesday. I'm taking Monday off like I planned. They don't own me. <laughs> okay, okay, they don't own me till Tuesday, okay? All right, Chase, thanks, man. Okay, I'll see you. Hey, hey, uh, I'm gonna take Mars out. We're going sledding. <laughs> yeah, you better believe it. You ready? So, what happened? Oh, they want to do it. Fuck them. What are you going to do? You need to go back? Hmm? No, baby. I want to do this for us. Charles can take care of it. We can go back early Monday. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Come on, kiddo. Let's go. You guys be careful. Oh, Mom. Is everything all right? I thought we weren't going to call on the weekends. Okay, okay. Well, well, what happened? Okay. Well, how do you feel about that? Right. You were intimidated, but... What did you tell him? Sorry, Andy, uh, but that's good, and, and it's right, because uh, you don't have the money, so uh, wait a minute, Andy, I think they have call waiting here. Hello? Oh, hey, Richard, thanks for getting back to us. Listen, <laughs> oh yeah, are you getting a tan down there? Listen, we called because, <sighs> shit, I'm sorry, I, can you wait a minute, Richard? I have someone on the other line, hold on. Andy, hi. I have to take this. But listen, you did well. You asserted yourself. Try to experience that on your own. And after you've thought about it, we'll, we'll talk on Wednesday, okay? It's important to keep some boundaries between us. You're trying to get to be more independent, right? Andy? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Richard. Richard, are you there? Hello? Hello?
Tower, I think I know. His house is in the village, though. You will not see me stopping here to watch his woods fill up with snow. The woods are lovely, dark, and deep. But I have promises to keep. And miles to go before I sleep. And miles to go before I sleep. Miles! Right! The poet's name was Robert Frost, and he was writing about the cold. Now, what do you think about that? Huh? Now, uh, Frost can take a simple image and he can make it seem deep. That's his rap. Hey, what's the matter? Dad. Yeah. What's a Wendigo? Wendigo? I don't know. I never heard of that. What's a Wendigo? I don't know. Where'd you hear about it? This man. What man? In the fifth floor. In town? He told me. The Wendigo's this man. He's a part animal. Always hungry. And he eats people. Well, a Wendigo only goes after bad guys, Miles. You're safe. You're a good kid. Hey, Miles. You know, a lot of people they make up stories, they make sense of the world. It's a big world after all, and, and nobody really understands how it all works. So well, maybe for that guy, it's comforting to think that the Wendigo is, you know, responsible for all the bad stuff out there. And that's okay. That's what myths are. They help us talk about stuff. Like uh, Mr. Freeze and Dr. Evil. They're evil. <laughs> I mean, good myths, guys, too, like Superman and Yoda. Hmm. But it's just, it's important to know that they're just myths, they're just stories. You'll end up being very disappointed when things don't come true that you're wishing. Like when you didn't get your big show in Soho. So, uh, <laughs> you little monster. You are a good <laughs> man. <laughs> you. I've heard it over you. Oh, you little. You're a dead man. <laughs> You're a dead man. Oh, Trips. 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 Miles, it's good you feel bad about that deer we hit, you know? But things like that happen. And you have to go through a period of mourning. Like, where you're sad, and then, you know, you put it behind you. You get it? Where even the worst thing can be seen in another way. Because you got to be flexible to make it in this old world. You sure you're not just stalling because that hill's looking pretty steep? No way! Let's <laughs> take that ride so we can go home and body your mother. Yeah! Come on, buddy.
Miles? Miles? Can you hear me? Miles? Miles, are you okay? Can you hear me? Huh? Can you get up, sweetie? Here. Ah! Oh, careful, careful. Honey, you hit your head. You're okay. You're okay, huh? Where's your father? Where? Huh? Where? I don't understand, Miles. What happened? Daddy fell off the sled. How did he fall off the sled, sweetie? No. Hold my hand tight. Oh my God! He was here, Mom. He was here. Oh what God. Knows? Oh God! It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Did you hear anything when Dad fell off the sled? I don't remember. Okay. It's okay, sweetie. Come on. Hold my hand tight. Come on. Wait, wait. Find my husband. Husband? Uh, there's been an accident. What kind of accident? I, I have you seen my husband? What's he look like? Uh, well, what was the name of the guy who left? He, he pulled out in his truck just before I got here. Otis? Uh, Brandon, uh, put those on the bench. I mean, it was you that was out on the road last night, right? You're staying up at the Suki place this weekend? Anyway, I, I'm sorry I saw a light on. I, I, I needed to check. I, Come on, Mom. Well, just a minute. I mean, did you have some kind of accident you want to tell or something? Yeah, what happened? No, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I was wrong. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I have to run. Come on, sweetie. Come on. Hold on. Jesus Hold on, Christ. <laughs> just let her go. Dad, where do you want these? I put them in the freezer, Brandon. Spooky, man. Yeah. What's that about? Ah, uh, they're just excitable city people. Hey, man, what'd you do with the beer? We drank all the last stuff I bought. What do you want to do with these? Put them in the freezer. Or if you want to eat them tonight. Probably gone home. George! George! Oh my God. Miles, 
He did go home. Come on, George! 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 Dad! George! Get a blanket. Daddy's uh, gonna be all right. Uh, we just want to keep him yeah, warm. Yeah, the scotch. Uh, uh, what happened? Jimmy, this is bad. I was I swear I've been shot. Those fucking guys. They shot me. Can we get you inside? No, oh, baby. No, 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 no. We gotta get to Danbury. There's a hospital there. Let's get in the car. I'll call an ambulance. No, baby. No, 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 no. I gotta know we're on our way, okay? What, are, Georgie? You sure? I don't know. Let's do it. Let's I don't do it. know. Let's do it, Carrie. Okay, let's do it. Ah. Ah. Kim! Sudden storm without warning from yeah. no one yeah. and devour what the, what? you, consume you with a ferocious appetite. And when you go, is hungry, always hungry. And its hunger is never satisfied. Do you want this? I fell back off the sled. I didn't know what had happened for the longest time. I couldn't even feel the pain. I didn't know if it was hot or cold. But then I saw the blood and was so faded. When I woke up, it was like I'd been drowning and this was my last breath of air. Like if I didn't take this breath, I'd, I'd slip away for good and into some euphoria. I was tempted, but I made myself get up. I found a house. It was easy. It's like I was carried by a big wind dropped at the door. This is it. I can feel it. What do you have here, Kim? Daddy's gonna be all right, Miles. Daddy's gonna be all right. This is an emergency. My husband has been shot. I, I need to know where the hospital is in Danbury. I'm, I'm, I'm heading west on Route 19. Okay. I need you to call the sheriff and have him meet us there. And are you serious? What's the number? What's the fucking number? Oh. What's the fucking number? Don't be scared, kiddo. Don't be scared. It's gonna be okay. Huh? Hey, 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 hey. Listen to me. Remember the, uh, the, uh, that little thing you got from the store? Huh? What was it? The, yeah, there, there it is. Yeah, it's got magic powers, right? Huh? Isn't that what you told me? Right? Huh? I was listening, Miles. Miles, I was listening to you. Don't be scared, kiddo. Don't be scared. It's gonna be okay, huh? Oh, kid.
Yeah, I want you to tell Charles I'm definitely not doing that. Shut up, George. What are you going to do when you got no one around to shush, I huh? I told you, George, you just hang in there all right. Mm. I got separation issues, you know? Yeah, Shit. I know. S S S E P. Uh, A R A T I O N. Yeah. Hey, Moss. Moss, listen to me. I want you to take care of your mom. Mom, all right? what happened? Oh, I don't know, kiddo. Kimmy, Kim. Oh, Kimmy. Oh, such a beautiful day. God, I remember so much about today. We had those eggs and uh, and a drive, and and we went uh, sledding, Mars and me. Huh? My family, my family, my family. Oh, Kim, 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 do you remember? Do you remember? Do you remember his first week home? Huh? Do you remember he kept us out for two nights screaming? <laughs> Yeah, I thought we'd never make it through. Listen, I'm always gonna, I'm always gonna be with you. I'm the sheriff. Do you mind telling me what happened? My husband, my husband was shot. I think he was by this man who we saw at, uh, at Braintree Road. His name was Otis. Otis. Do you know who he is? Mm, yeah, well, I, uh... I'd seen him before. He was, he seemed capable of. Well, now, Mrs. McLaren, we don't know for certain that your husband was shot. Mrs. McLaren. Yeah. Your husband was shot once in the side with a high-powered rifle. Oh, uh, the bullet grazed his liver, and the doctors are recommending emergency surgery immediately. There'll be some papers for you to sign, so if you'll just wait right here. Well, do you know him or not? Yeah, Otis Stuckey. What? Pardon? That's, that's the place we're staying, the Stuckey house. Really? Uh, <clears throat> that's where Otis grew up. What? Yeah, his mother died, and then she left it to Otis' his sister. His sister sold the place, moved down to Florida. Do you mind telling me exactly what happened, Mrs. McLaren? Last night, we we hit a deer, and our car was a fluke. These men came out of the woods, and one of them was named Otis. Oh, I can't believe this! Wrong place, wrong time. Mrs. McLaren. With your permission, they'll get started right away. I cannot fucking believe this. Oh, Jesus Christ.
Jack, this is Tom Hale. I want you to meet me up at Battle Creek Road. Otis Stuckey's place. I need backup. You copy, over. Hey, Otis, you in there? Tom Hale. It's the sheriff. You in there, Otis? What do you want, sheriff? I want you to step outside for just a moment, Otis. What is it, Tom Hale? Now, those people staying up at the Stokey place have filed a complaint. I just want to ask you some questions. You come down to the station with me? What kind of complaint? Ah, uh, come on now, Otis. Do me a favor, huh? They're from the city. I just got to go through all the formalities. What they say happened? No, oh, I don't know. It's just something about them hitting a deer, and you was there, and I got to, um, I just got to get a statement from you, that's all. Ah, oh, shit, Tom. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. These people come up from the city. They act like they own the damn place. Look, I get it every day. That fucking Ben Stratton, you know. Raising our taxes, <laughs> kissing these people's ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's right. You come with me now, huh? I got Jack stopping by in a moment. I'd like you to come down with me now. Just, uh, you know, just uh, keep it simple, huh? Well, okay, Tom. Right, so we can say we did it, okay? Okay, sure. Damn. I'm just gonna watch a ball game. Yeah, I know. Sorry to put you out and all. That game was just getting started when I stopped by the hospital earlier. What are you doing at the hospital, Tom? Uh, routine stuff. So. You know, I don't think I'm going to go down to the station there, Tom. What's that? I think you know what I'm saying. You know, Otis, I know it's been you shooting up the walls at the Stokey place and all. Why you say that? People see you. I spend time at Everett's, you know that. He's got that shooting range. Now listen, Otis, I know you got dealt a bad hand with that house and all, but a lot of people got problems. City guy lets me take the shortcut through the property. Yeah. You know, Otis, I was gonna let you off shooting up that place and all, but uh, I want you to come down to the station with me now. Is that really what it is, Tom? What do you mean? You come all the way out here over there? Yeah, they're mad as hell. Now look, I got Jack stopping by. You coming with me or not? Okay. I'm coming. <laughs> I don't want to have to slap the cuffs on you just to take you down and give you a $30 fine. 
coat. Right. Don't lie, Tom. Are you the devil? Fuck you.
do. thing can be seen in another way. Nobody believes in spirits anymore. Doesn't mean they're not there. Getting you out of that ditch, you could have asked. No, huh? no, 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 no. 